My big idea is that design should be rooted in environmental justice and guided by science. If you're designing in the U.S., the chances are that you're working in communities where immigrants, low-income families, or marginalized groups live. Those often hit hardest by env environmental injustice. We already know that green resources are not equitably distributed, whether it's tree canopy, clean air or water, healthy food or open space. So how can we, as landscape architects, use environmental data and technical tools like climate projections, GIS research, plant science, and other available science-based platforms to inform our design process? Beyond planting plants or stylish materials, we have the opportunity and the responsibility to create data-driven designs by weaving culture and science. Imagine discovering a native plant with medicinal uses or phytoremediation uses that is important to the culture of a nearby community and also thrives in your project's conditions. Or maybe it's learning through a column viral screen that asthma rates are high in the area you're designing for and realizing that a native tree you consider planting might actually worsen asthma due to its plant properties and pollen production. Maybe GIS research led you to to find a nearby pollution source that otherwise would not be considered. Or maybe it's using NOAA to look at future sea level rise and create a resilient living shoreline like here at Curtis and Rogers in Miami. These tools allow us to respond with intention, especially in communities facing environmental injustice and public health issues. Our landscapes can become catalysts for sustainability, healing, and activism. Even something as simple as an educational sign might spark a young child, someone like me, a child of immigrants, to become an environmental leader and steward of the earth. By grounding our designs in data and lived experience, we don't just improve space, we transform neglected spaces and communities and empower people through health, equity, and sustainability. That to me is the true purpose of landscape architecture.